give them prayer hands Say what's up America, I think you should know me right On the half a replica, shout out to my What's up guys, Peter here back on GTA 5 I know you guys have been asking me to switch it up And I'm always happy to do that So if you could drop a like, that'd mean a lot And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more great content But uh, yeah, I told you I got this car It is the LG RH8 In the last video, I'm gonna customize it right here But uh, the main part of this video is gonna be how to get rid of it Cause uh, for various reasons, you can't actually sell this car There's like a special way you have to get rid of this So... Yeah, that's going to be a little bit later in the video, but I am just customizing it right now. If you don't want this car, is if you sign up for the social club, you can get it for free. So that's what I did get. And of course, they're not going to want you just deliber like deliberately getting free cars and then just selling them. Because once you sign up once, you can get as many as you want. But I only wanted one of these cars, so that's why I'm doing this tutorial. And it's actually pretty complicated to get rid of these. So uh, right here, we're going to customize it. The only thing we've done is repair it so far. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is get the lights. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the front, back, and sides for the neon kit or the neon layout or whatever. So I'm going to get that later. Obviously, I don't have a lot of money right now, but I'm going to bring it back with a lot more money. I'm just going to try to see what I can do that I eventually want on the car right now. So I did get the Xenon lights. So that's going to be the uh, first thing I purchased. As you can see, it almost already took half of my money. But I'm just going to like try to make the best out of what money I have right now. I did get the roll cages. That looks really cool. And I think I'm going to get uh, new wheels. Of course, the ones I didn't get. Or the ones I did get are the ones I didn't want. They're just the stock wheels. So I couldn't decide between Shadow and Hyper. And I did, like eventually decided on Shadow. I thought it looked this. really cool. And uh, I don't know. Comment down below if you have these wheels too. But I wanted to change the colors. Now, this is the thing. I can get this car in lime green. Even though I haven't completed all the stun jumps to do it. And um, the reason is because it's actually a preset color. So that's another little tip right there. It's a preset color for getting this car from the store. So unfortunately, I can't get the lime green for the wheel. So I'm going to have to stick with a black. And uh, yeah, so that's a lot of people were asking or not like in other videos. But people were wondering like just that I played with. How do I have this car when I can't like don't even have the sun jumps, but I have lime green. It's just a preset color. I think one of the last things I'm going to do is just get that. Uh, light smoke i really have to unlock the limo as soon as i can that's eventually what i want so uh, before we get into the tutorial part this is just a quick thing i want to show you guys so i got this truck i was trying to do this for 30 minutes my goal was to get it super fast go into the gas station like jump out of it and then just have it explode and that's exactly what happened except for i jumped out too late and i like i did die and i don't know i just thought it'd look really badass if i actually did it but i never succeeded i was trying for like 30 minutes but anyway you can see a new elegy right here it is in a different color i bought two i do not want two i want one and you cannot get rid of this car i'm going to show you that you can't get rid of it unless you do this tactic and uh basically this is my second one i didn't want two i need to figure out how to get rid of it and i thought uh this is probably a common problem because uh, like it's just pretty complicated so if you go into LS customs you cannot sell this car alphabetically it is not there that is not an option to do when you take this into any shop the reason for that is uh, Rockstar doesn't want you taking a free car and then just selling it for money and that does make sense and this is not a glitch with my game that is why I took a random car off the street and just uh, just scroll down the menu or whatever and sell is an option in that case so I'm just uh, showing you uh, like this is not a glitch with the game. This is just how Rockstar makes things. So uh, what we're gonna do is put the second one or put whatever elegy you want to get rid of back in the garage. You can do this if you have one elegy, if you have two, if you have three. Just whatever one you want to get rid of, put it back in the garage and remember what garage you put it back into because that is going to be important. And I'm not gonna make is like I'm not gonna make a lot of cuts into this because I want it to be informative. I don't want it to be too long but not too short. And just to try to like I don't know explain it better. And yeah, so that's why I didn't cut out that loading screen. But what we're gonna do is go to your phone, go to any car shop. Uh, in this case, you're gonna go to Southern on San Andreas Supersports, whatever. You're gonna get the cheapest car. This is what the cheapest car is the car in Rebel, whatever, right? And the reason we want to get this is because you're gonna end up selling this car later. So what you want to do is select the garage that you had it in, and you can see here you just want to replace the car, uh, the elegy with this whatever like car and thing right and the reason you want to do that is it's just gonna despawn the car it's just like you're just gonna get rid of it you're not gonna get any money for it but it will get rid of the car it's impossible to get any money for that car in the game since you didn't pay any money to get it 
so uh yeah what you're gonna do now is wait for it to spawn back in your garage and you're gonna see here that the car in rebel or whatever you want to call it that i just ordered is going to be in the garage replacing that elegy this is not fake this is just how the game works you guys know if you've bought a car that you have to replace another one it just totally replaces it uh you don't have to sell it or anything so all you have to do now is just sell the car you just bought so i uh, just take it to the nearest mod shop or whatever and sell it that's all you have to do uh you will have you will, like you will not have whatever lg you wanted to get rid of even if you just had one i had two in this case i didn't want two but even if you don't want one uh that's how you get rid of it so it is pretty complicated well like it's not complicated at all but the the way rockstar made you do it it's just a lot more complicated than just taking it to the mod shop and selling it so right here i'm just going to sell this car in or whatever you want to call it. i'm just going to sell the car at the mod shop you can go to any mod shop of course and uh at this point it'll just be like basically selling your elegy uh, if you check uh, your garage, you can obviously go to your mechanic and call for a car and it will show what is in your garage. So I'm going to go to the same garage that had like previously my Elegy in it. And you're going to see it is just not in there anymore. It has the other car that's been in there. But there's no cars in it, so I have gotten rid of my LG. Thank you guys for watching this quick video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.